The FBI is a little bit more complex because there are far more documents. Uh, the FBI has informed me that there are tens of thousands of documents concerning Mr. Pickering and that it is going to take a substantial amount of time to review these documents, to provide both a Vaughn index and to release non-exempt documents. Uh, the FBI has told me that in order for it to review all of these documents for all of the applicable ex exemptions under FOIA, it could take as long as three years. Um, the vast majority of the documents I have been told by the FBI are going to be subject to the ongoing investigation exemption, which is B7A. So what I've been informed by the FBI is that they are still awaiting a few files to come back to the central office. Um, but to date, they have in excess of 30,000 pages. Well, with respect to Mr. Pickering, uh, he was associated purportedly with the Earth Liberation Front media office, and that was the reason he became the uh, subject of an FBI probe. Now, ELF what is, is... What was that again? Earth the Liberation. Earth Liberation Front, or ELF, E-L-F for short. Front media office? Yes. What is that? Or press called? office. And they would get these communiques. Well, why was the Earth Liberation Front even, this was, even a... Your Honor, it was, an echo, it was an eco-terrorism group that was operating in the largely in the Pacific Northwest in the early 2000s, as I recall. Echo... Echo terrorism. What's echo terrorism? They were like, as I recall, they were, they were at least charged with being responsible for burning down housing developments. They were and they were arguing that excessive development was harming the environment, as I recall. Oh my gosh! I believe and they were the, operating in uh, the northwest. Allegedly, it was back in the uh, late nineties. There, there's a film, a documentary called "The Tree Falls." But there hasn't been any ELF actions in well over a decade, if not longer. Okay. So I think... But but that's what the FBI was investigating. Well, what, what is the connection of eco-terrorism? What does echo mean? That's a term the government's come up with. So Ecological. Ecological? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Eco. Yes. I thought you eco. said echo. <laughs> yes. Eco. I'm yes. sorry. Okay, that would be ECO, correct? Yes. ECO, I apologize. Yes, okay. no problem. Eco-terrorism. Okay. Um, that, that, that's just a, a generic term that yeah. they, uh, to describe the nature of the uh, un alleged unlawful activity that they're investigating. Okay, so that's a, a form of criminal conduct. Yes. Well, what does the Earth Liberation Front have to do with eco-terrorism in the Northwest? terms of burning down, you know, development. They were the perpetrators. The, 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 on the face of the face of the name. They were the perpetrators. Earth Liberation. Oh, oh, they were the perpetrators. This was well, it's group. been alleged by the uh, government. It's a group who were the perpetrators. Oh, I see. Of e eco terrorism. I see. Yes. Okay. And Mr. Got Pickering it. was alleged to have been the spokesperson for ELF during that period of time. And as I recall, I think he was even on sixty minutes and interviewed. Oh, huh. And he lives here in Buffalo now. Yes. Correct. Interesting. Was he always from Buffalo, or was he just, he just... Kind yeah, of he's from Western New York. Originally. Correct. Oh, okay. 